This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, these criminals don't stop. Okay? They crash GameStop. And here's the thing. Do you guys believe that retail investors just decided to sell all their shares before Roman Kitty does his live stream? Huh? Do you think institutions that are long on GME just sold all their shares before Roman Kitty did the, the, the live stream? These bad actors are engaging in criminal activity. This is a RICO conspiracy that needs the DOJ and the FBI and the FBI to fully investigate. There's absolutely no legal reason whatsoever for GME to drop like that. Okay? It just fell off the cliff. How did that happen? If we look at the blue sheets of GME, I am 95% sure we're going to see a lot of fraud, a lot of malfeasance, and a lot of questionable activities. At this point, they are so afraid of losing money that they are engaging in the fraudulent activities right in front of our faces because they know there are no real consequences if they get caught. Okay, that's really the bottom line. At some point, I believe the DOJ and the FBI are going to conduct a thorough investigation and there will be bad actors losing their license to trade. There will be bad actors who will be indicted by a grand jury and there will be bad actors who are going to end up <laughs> doing some time. Not just a fine and a slap on the wrist. This has to be, between AMC and GME, this has to be the biggest financial crime in the history of the planet. I can't think of anything, Enron, Madoff, I can't think of any other financial crime that surpassed what I've seen with AMC and GME over the past three years. The fact that we're in the United States of America and they're allowing this type of fraud and malfeasance to continue is absolutely crazy to me. No other country allows this type of malfeasance. The minute they see the naked children, they shut it down. China shuts it down. The European Union, you can't even naked short. You can't do it. It's not accepted. South Korea, shut it down everybody shuts it down except for the united states of america and we're supposed to be the best we're not the best what i've learned over the last three years is we are the most corrupted stock market on the planet okay and our law enforcement and regulatory agencies need to step in and do their job and protect the market and protect retail investors and make it fair and transparent for everyone. Anyway, please leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that GME dropped over $15 because retail investors just sold off all their GME shares? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.